What kind of refrigerator does your health facility use to protect vaccines and diluents? Visit different health facilities and you may find different models. But even with all the variety of vaccine refrigerators, there are three main types. Health facility refrigerators are powered by electricity, solar energy, or gas or kerosene. This video provides a general overview of each type, the variations, and the advantages and limitations of each one. Electric refrigerators are also called compression units. The preferred models are ice-lined, meaning the internal walls are lined with ice packs or tubes. Even with periodic breaks in electricity, the ice lining maintains the inside temperature of the refrigerator. They also have the most reliable temperature control and are usually the easiest to maintain. Their limitations? They are recommended where there is at least eight hours of reliable electricity per day. They can expose the vaccines to freezing temperatures if vaccines are not loaded properly. You may wonder whether domestic electric refrigerators would work. While these models are sometimes used, they are not recommended by WHO. Many locations without reliable electricity use solar refrigerators, which are powered by the sun's energy. There are two types of solar refrigerators. A solar battery unit runs on batteries charged by solar panels, a solar direct drive unit is powered directly by the solar panel. Solar refrigerators have no running costs beside cleaning and preventative maintenance. Of course, they also require sufficient sunlight and they are more expensive to buy and install than electric units. Bottled gas or kerosene refrigerators, also called absorption units, use heat from a controlled flame to produce cold. They can be installed where others cannot, where there is not reliable electricity or enough sunshine. Between the two, gas-powered units require less maintenance and have better temperature control than kerosene. The downside? These refrigerators can expose vaccines to freezing temperatures. It can be difficult to keep vaccines in the correct temperature range, especially with kerosene refrigerators. No matter which type of refrigerator your facility uses, it is critical to monitor temperatures to make sure they stay between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. Since 2009, all WHO pre-qualified electric and solar refrigerators have integrated thermostats that cannot be adjusted by the user. If you notice that temperatures in your refrigerator exceed this range, be sure to alert your supervisor and call the technician. You should now have a general understanding of the three main types of refrigerators, electric, solar, and gas, and important things to consider about each one.